What's up, YouTube? It's me, the HBIC, the head bitch in charge, Vexicus4666, Maxi Vexi, the Black Rose, the new name that I got from M. Cole 40, the Eternal Fairy, the Demonic, well, I forgot what that person called me, Demonic something from the regional. Um, this is just gonna be a blog and update, uh, give you the deck profile and regional report of yesterday's regional in St. Louis that I attended. I went 5-3, yes I know, 5-3 again, um, got 30th place, it was like 154 or 157 players, I'm still proud of myself, minus one of the games that I'll explain in a minute, so let's blog the road trip, two people bailed last minute, was really sad after we got back from a Gen Con Bash tournament, my and my friend Blake that, that following night, or we would ask other people that wanted to go to go. But it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, other people bailed out, didn't come over to my house and all this stuff, didn't call or whatever. It was that, whatever. On the way there, driving to St. Louis, I couldn't drive at all because the previous nights before I worked overnights, I didn't get no sleep. So it's like, you don't think, you don't think I'm going to fucking drive unless you want to die because I'll go like this. Driving, dun 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 dun. Boom! Okay, turn that off. I gotta keep the glasses on. I look too tired. And y'all don't need to see that with me. Um, yeah. Drove there. I have the blogs up on some of these. I didn't do a lot of blogs of this place. This place was in a college. But some of the blogs, I swear it was raining so hard, you couldn't see absolutely nothing on the windshield wiper. Apparently, I had my other sunglasses on. And I can see perfectly clear. My friend Blake was driving, couldn't see shit. Apparently, I can see in the dark with sunglasses on. Perfectly fine. Because all day and all night I had these things on. Just walking around, not these, by the way. Literally all day or whatever. Actually, let me get my other one so I can see you guys see what I'm talking about. Do, 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 do. Literally, like, all day or whatever. Had the sunglasses on. Switch. And I can literally see all day long with these on. I prefer the other ones anyway. And it was like, yeah. So what can you do? So, uh, yeah, got there. We left about 3.20 a.m. in the morning. Got there about 8.30. Oh, yeah. I'll have the link somewhere in there where you can just go straight to the deck profile where I really explain the whole deck, but I'm on a rant for right now and talk about the report and all that stuff and let you know about some funny links that will be up later on today whenever I post them because I have not I only had about three hours sleep. I got a big sinus pressure headache. Right now, I'm tired and all that stuff, so I'm probably going to go back to get my eternal sleep. And somebody who can make playmats. I want a playmat customly made before Nats. I will love you forever. I want these three cards on there. Arch Lord Christia, Tethys, and Splendid Venus. But nobody ain't running my build at YCS, so I could still run it. What's it called? But tweak the hell out of it if I'm going to reveal it to you guys right now. But back to the report. Driving, blah, 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 blah. Raining like hell, like the God and the devil are fighting, clashing, boom, boom, lightning striking down everywhere. We've seen like lightning kept striking down and all that stuff, like lightning sparks and all that stuff. It was like Retrom, no, what's the name? Not Retrom, Retrom, whatever, like Zapdos, Thunderous, Zepram, all like zapping, boom, boom, boom. It was just crazy and raining like a uh, Polytoad. And Kyogre was drizzling all over the place, going all down and stuff. That's side the point. Got there about 8.30 to the regional. Filled out the deck sheets and registration forms and yada, yada, yada. Event starts. And this is where I show you guys the paper. Where it's easy for me to explain. Oh, yeah. Let's see. If I wrote it out. Let's see. Before I explain all the stuff, I played... Two plant decks, one T, was it TG? TG, the guy called it Doppel Popple. A Mystic Piper deck I beat, a Samurai deck I beat, and two plant decks. I lost to random shit, I'll get into that in a minute. I lost the GK and Mystic Shine Ball Fairy Agent build. So let's get to this where I can show you the scores and all that stuff. Cause people, I know people like to see this, I think you can see this fine. Um, let's see. This was, this one right here was game one of the 
plant matchup. I versed a guy named Nathan. 8,000, 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 17, 47 me, 200 him, then 100 because he played Solemn, then zero. Game two, I played Solemn, then he had, then he got me. Literally. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that. Game three. I lost a thousand off something. I forgot what it was. And then he went 8,000, 69, 49, 39. And yeah, this high one. Summon Jupiter. I knew he had Baylor off the Sangin that I killed before. So yeah, I summoned Jupiter. Use Jupiter's effect to bait him out. No, I had Jupiter out. I used Jupiter's effect to bait him out. And then he had, then he Baylored it. So I'm like, summon Earth. No, I don't wait. I had Earth on the field. Yeah, I had Earth on the field. Summon Jupiter. Use Jupiter's effect. He availed it. I'm like, fuck this. Bryonic, bounce all your shit back. And then GG. Game two was that weird ass deck. Let me tell you about this game. I was pissed the fuck off. This guy. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, you guys can see this. I literally beat this guy game one like nothing. I think I arched Lord Christian him turn one with Valhalla. 62, 61. Oh yeah, I beat him with, oh yeah, I remember now. He killed it. I won with Venus. DA. What's a DA in here? Dimension Alk and uh, arch Lord Christie. All three on the field. Crushed him. Game two, I forgot what he did. He just beat me. Game three. I drew crap. He did Possum, playful possum or possum, whatever. Pop that shit off with a some drug or potion thing. Brought out Mechlor, Granol. Then he did it again. Pop got next turn or whatever. Got Mechlor, Ski, King Tiger Wang, who burden of the mighty. I didn't draw nothing. And then he no my extermination my solemn morning when I had everything else set. I just needed to draw like a card from the sky so the following turn I could come back and and uh, dominate. Game round three. I also have a video I'm going to put up with this guy because afterward he ranted. He was so mad and I got his rant because he's uh, one of, he's one, he's friends with three of my friends from St. Louis. Um, X, X, Blinded by Skate, Lucas, I forgot your channel because you don't make videos anymore, and Joe, I forgot your channel too because you guys don't make no videos anymore, so it's not even important to me to say your damn channels. Okay, anyway. Um, his name was Zach. Some of the S. He was playing that TG Doppel Popple, what he calls. And, okay. I have to brag about this. Let me put this back on the laptop. This game, or whatever, we rolled the dice. We rolled my dice. Where's my dice at? Let me show you. I don't know where it's at. Well, anyway, we rolled my 20 sided die, right? Roll it. I roll a three. He rolled it before he rolled it. I'm like, watch you get a lower. I'm going to hex you right now. You're going to roll a one. So I went like this when he rolled it. I'm like pointing at the die. He rolled a one. So I go first. Now, back to this shit. Because I was kind of cocky towards him because he knew, knew Joe. Because before, before, it, before it started, he's like, Joe, I'm going to kill you. Because Joe was like all the way down there. Because Joe went 02. And then he went 03 drop. Sorry, Joe. But anyway, yeah. He was yelling at Joe like, I'm going to kill you for making me play this guy. Blah, 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 blah. From Chicago. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah. Life points. 8,000, 8,000. I'm at 79. He's at 86 because he summoned Magical Android. I hit down to 39, 50. I think I played, um, I played Return from, yeah, I remember. I played for Return from a Different Dimension. I brought back like Splendid Venus and stuff. And then, yeah, I brought back Splendid Venus and something else. Then, just to piss him off, I sacrificed both of them before I ended my turn for Arch Lord Christia. So it was like, uh huh. And then knocked him down to zero. Then this game, I forgot what I had. I had a Valhalla. I'll try to play it out. I had a Bahala. I had a Master Hyperion. He summons his Trishula. Gets rid of this. I'm holding on to... Wait, what was I holding on to? Oh, yeah. I, I was holding on to something in my hand. And I'm like, I'm like, I still got this no matter what you do. Because he Trishula my Dark Hole and all that. So I'm like, I still got game no matter what. Because I'm holding a Master Hyperion. But I top deck a Master Hyperion. So I'm like, Master Hyperion with Bahala. Pop this shit. He was mad. And I got a video for that later on this week. Probably, I probably put it in the blogs. So I won and beat him 2-0. Uh, oh yeah. Game, oh yeah. Round one was a 2-1 win. 1-2 loss. That's what I should tally these up. Where's my pen at? Oh, I'm like so not prepared right now. I'm so tired. So I give you guys the overall record of my deck. Um, yeah. Let me keep ranting. 
because you guys told me the blog about this. So I'm going to blog before I go back to sleep because I'm very, very tired. So let's see. Two, one. One sec, guys. Two, one. Uh, two, one. One, two. Two zero. We're gonna see round four. I played Mystic Piper deck. Um, it went the. I'm not even gonna show you the sheet. I'm just gonna keep ranting while I'm doing it. It went the pretty much three games. The second game, he uh, Dark Hold Master. He Monster Reborn my Master Hyperion. I couldn't capitalize after that, so then he got me. Game three, I'm at eight thousand. He's at eight thousand. Then he dropped the fifty six to zero because I flipped like I flipped three Miraculous Descends and bringing all my shit back. So I wrecked his shit. Two one. Round five, I play Tenju Plants. No, t uh, Zombie Tenju Plants. Pretty much from Revenge from my friend Garrett Ziles. You know of your channel, um, OTK Magic. He got me at the Gen Con Badge Tournament. Went three games, so I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah. Wrecked his shit. I would have won game one earlier, but I should have, instead of making my Jupiter attack first, so it's set to breed and no even top deck to breed or whatever, because I had Christian and Jupiter. I should have made Christian attack first, then Jupiter, or whatever, but didn't do that. But I still won anyway. And then, I won the second game. Just trashed him with, I think, it was Christian. Now, let me talk about round six. Round six was crazy as hell. It was, I played a samurai match. Samurai matches are supposed to be like my my worst match next to Gravekeeper. Gravekeeper is always number one, then Samurai. Supposed to be my worst matchup. I can handle anything else. Anything else. So let me tell you about that. So let's check my email. Okay. Let me add these up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's not bad. Anyway, this guy. Let me try to play this out for you. Let me get the field ready. I'm more of a visual person, and I want to explain to you guys in a visual perspective on what happened. And don't forget, you guys can always fast forward just to get straight to the deck. I have a Jupiter out. A Jupiter is already in the graveyard. He has two legendary six samurai shins out. So let's just say these are shins. I'm going to have to set the field up. Graveyard. Sheen. And Dimension Alchemist is removed from play. I'm holding on to a DDR. DDR is in my hand with one random card. Oh, I don't remember the card. It was one random card in my hand. I think it was a card from the sky, actually. Okay. He has nothing else on his field but two Sheens. So let me show you the field. And get this in here. This is removed from play. Dimension Alchemist is removed from play. This is on the field. This is in the graveyard. Right? So, he, these are the two legendary shins. It's my turn. I drop this Jupiter. I remove this Jupiter from play to give him 800 attack points. Then, I play DDR. He allows it. He's like, okay, what can he possibly do? I'm like, okay, DDR. I bring back Dimension Alchemist. I flip over some for the effect. I just flipped over some, right? I let this one hit a Shin, popped it, killed it. Then after that, I let this one ram into it, right? And let it die. And I get this Jupiter back. And right? And then it's his turn. He swings over this. It's like my turn. Summon my Jupiter. Remove that. Kill it. And then after that, look at the score. Look at the paper. From that, because he pretty much was in control. 8,000. 8, 63. 6,000. 31, 50, 45, 29, 50, 17. That's where I dominated him. Wait, no, that's not it. This one, this one, this one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Round six. Where is it, Samurai? No, that was, no, here, this is round six. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is it, this is it. That was round five. 8,000, 8,000. 55, 79. 40, whatever. Look how his life points just drop. I'm at 21 when I was doing all those hits. Game two. Oh my god. I have to show you the hand. Before I even let you see the hand, he goes, first thing he does, like a normal six samurai player, he's going to go into Shin, Kageki Kakamushu, 
That's his two other um, double edged sword techniques. I think he had a warning down or something. I don't know. He's a fucking idiot, actually. What this play I'm about to tell you. Um, let me see. What else I had? I had this. I had. Basically, he makes the Shen turn one. Where is my traps? Oh yeah, here we go. These was my openings. This was my opening hand. I want you to see this because one of the players was like watching or whatever. He's a St. Louis player. He knows some of my friends from St. Louis or whatever. So he was observing my match, right? And I look. Now, normally when I play, I show no emotions when I'm actually playing seriously. When I play serious, I show no emotions. This is my opening hand. Just watch. This is my opening hand to his, um, to his, uh, blah, 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 blah. Shin and like five back, no, his, uh, Shin and four back rows. I have return from different dimension, Valhalla, Valhalla, or Solemn Warning, right? So with no emotion, I'm gonna try to play this out where you can see how I kinda drew my hand. So I'm like, I got the, everything, I got everything in my, actually I can show you like this, hold on. So yeah. So I pretty much got it like this. Okay. No emotion. Just look. No, here we go. I guess you gotta see the deck too. Hold on. This is the deck. Let me put the deck up here. Now let's see. With no emotion, draw. Just looking. Just looking. I go. Look it back at me. I go. Valhalla. He like negate. I'm like Valhalla. He go, okay. He can't do nothing to it, right? Arch Lord Christia. Bam! Knocked his shit out with Arch Lord Christia. Oh my god, oh my god, god, god. Arch Lord Christia did fucking work that whole match. Look, I drew Christia. 8,000, 77, 49, 21, 11. That's all I kept doing. Kept hitting him with Arch Lord Christia until he starts that stuff. Then he side deck in. The X Saber Spirit Reaper one. I forgot his name. Or whatever. Round seven. Played against Fairy. So I was so close to knocking him down. I did first turn Christian. I forgot how he killed it. Or whatever. And then second game, I win. Look at this. He upstarts me and all that shit. Giving my life points up to 10,000, 9,000, 10,000, 9,000. I just wreck his shit. Game two, he wrecks me. No, game two. No, game one, he wrecks me. Game two, I wreck him. Game three. Or uh, whatever he gets me. And then Grave Keepers, game one I lose. I was close. Game two he got, I got him with Royal Decree. I summoned Master Hyperion. He had all these back rows. I know he had a deep fissure. Couldn't do shit to me. So I summoned Master Hyperion and ended my turn, right? And I'm banking that he did not draw a, uh, Grave Keeper. So I set the decree. Then it's my turn again. I'm like, okay. Attack, deep prison, Royal Decree. Set. Last game he fucked me up. So yeah. Went 5-3. With all the stuff I pretty much accomplished, it was a 13 wins, 8 losses, kind of. Let's see. Round 1-2-1. One, one. Round 2-1-2. Two, two. Round 3-2-0. Round 4-2-1. Round 5-6-2-0. and six, two owed. Round 7-8-1-2. and eight, one, two. Oh, yeah. I think I still did good. So, yeah. Let me show you guys the deck. Or whatever. So then I can go to sleep. And I, like I said, I will explain the, the deck as well. Just as I promised. Okay. I know this is a long video. You guys can bear with shit. Y'all want to know regional report and putting it all in one scoop. So in the next video, I put it, that funny little rant in the vlog together. Okay. Okay. Let's get this started. Okay, I'm going to explain everything in this deck. The people started to ask me when I posted the deck before without the side deck. I'll show you the side. Why I play certain cards. This is like a high monster beat draw power deck with fairies. It's not like Mystic Shine Ball build at all. So, I play two Lord, two Arch Lord Christus. The boss monsters of the deck, my favorite monster now. Black Rose Dragon has been replaced again with Arch Lord Christia. This happened like several times in the past. Arch Lord Christia, basically, if I combo this off with Valhalla, turn one, 
I can get this sucker out and they can't special summon anything. They have to waste their resources just to get rid of Christian and pray they have a deep, a dimension prison or something. Even if they have dimension prison, I can bring it. I can bring this crap back with, uh, Miraculous Descent, Return from Different Dimension, DDR. So that's that. Next, two, Splendid Venus. People do not understand it. Oh yeah. For one thing, with all these level eights I play, I can trade them in, use the spell card trade in, draw two cards, turbo, and then with Valhalla, all your monsters are going to go down and kneel to my goddess. No way in hell you can stop the power of the gods right here with Venus. Uh, lower the monster by 500, 2800 attack, 24 defense. I can pretty much trample any anything, pretty much. Stardust, I can already trample Stardust. Um, Scrap Dragon, Colossal Fighter, um, Red Dragon Archfiend, um... It's anything, pretty much. I can trample and just play trade ins and cards from the skies and just get pluses and all that stuff. Play three Master Hyperions. Have to with the three Earths, Earths and three Jupiters that I play. Jupiters or whatever. Everybody knows that Earth is pretty much the straddles of the deck. Only thing I search out are the Jupiters. And then when the Earths and Jupiters are going to grave and I have like a Jupiter in my hand, I'll just remove Earth or Jupiter to pump up Christia or Master Hyperion, Splendid Venus, something to pump them up so I can return them back later. And Master Hyperion, sometime mostly I summon this thing out with Valhalla anyway, so I don't have to erase to remove. And then I just start popping things. Pretty much the Dark Arm Dragon of the deck. One of, one of my other like generals in the deck. Decklist will be somewhere at the bottom too. I play three... Hecatrice. Pretty much, I discard this thing to search out Valhalla. That's all, the only thing this thing's meant to do. Search Valhalla out. As fast as I can. It's pretty much like, K, uh, Gravekeeper Commandant. I play two Tethys of Light. Goddess of Light, excuse me. This is my only, like, level 5 thing. Plus, with this, I can also make level 7 with Earth when I tune together with Black Rose. So I can make Black Rose Ancient Fairy. I only made Black Rose once. I made, like, uh, Bryonic, like, 5 times. Or whatever. But this card is really, really good. 2400, 1800 defense. Basically, if I do this and draw my draw phase, draw a fairy, I keep revealing. If I can reveal a fairy, I can keep on drawing. And then with the trade ins and cards from the skies, I can combo that off and draw. Against my friend, I got like plus 10 on turn one. And like, let's see, I did Valhalla. Summon this. Summon two Master Hyperion. After all the discardings and all the Hecatrus I got, Summon Splendid Venus all on turn, I mean, uh, Arsula Christie all on turn one. So, yeah. Play Honest. Because you have to play Honest. Then, these are the cards that help me bring back my monsters. Dimension Alk, yeah, I know, I need one more gold one. Dimensional Alchemist, did pretty much good work. Basically, when he gets destroyed somehow on the field, I get to bring one of my move from play monsters back. So, he did pretty much good work. Spells. Like I said, three Valhalla's. If I control no monsters, I can special summon the fairy. Arch Lord Christian, Splendid Venus, T Tempest, Goddess of Light, um, Master Hyperion, all of them. Any one, any fairy. Monster Reborn, Staple. My new sexy Dark Hole, Ultra Rare, Staple. DDR. So I can just discard some. I usually like to discard a light monster to bring back something. And it's also perfect because it also helped me maybe combine with my Archlord Christia. Damn, this video is 24 minutes now. Oh well. Oh yeah. Giant Trunade. Obviously. Three cards from the skies and three trade for my draw power. And sometimes I combine it with Tethys. Trap cards. Three return from different. I mean, not three. Return from different dimension. Two solemn warnings. Solemn judgment. Mirror force. And in the old build before, this is pretty much like the same deck I showed you guys before, but in this build, I am running three miraculous descends. I tell him to playing two before. I run three. I figured it helped me out way better with all the remove from play stuff. And this, this dominated. I need to get ultimates of this. I think I want alties. Or, no, I want, no, I want alties. No, I want supers. Probably want Alsies. I need to also hollow out the uh, Tethys and Splendid Venus. 
Got to bling out that deck. Okay, I'll show you guys the synchros. No, last time I just show you the side deck. Let me show you that real quick. So then I can just go relax. Victoria for the side. Pretty much for the plant decks that bring out Trishulas and stuff. If once I kill, I can resurrect it. Scraps, when they get their Scrap Dragons in the graveyard, I can take control of it. And so I didn't play one fucking hero deck. The so Super Poly was a bust. No men across house did work. Against the Samurai, I won Samurai matchup. I didn't even draw Kinetics, but I didn't need it. Or Puppet Plant. Against the Gravekeeper match, I did a lot of drawing. I didn't draw these. They were at the bottom of the deck somewhere, but I did draw the uh, cross out. Two Decrees, two Breakers, two MSTs. I really don't need to explain the MSTs and all that stuff. That's for people for Light Mirror. I didn't see one motherfucking person do a Light Mirror to me at all. Synchros, Ancient Sacred Waver, Ancient Fairy Dragons. I set them in reverse order. Two Black Rose Dragons, Stardust Dragon, Avenging Knight Parshaft. He's level 8. All I need is one tuner, one or more non lights, and all my deck is lights. Scrap Dragon. Red Dragon Archfiend. With all those tokens, that's why I run those, even though I didn't use it. Bronic, use you all day in my MVP synchro. Miss Worm, Trishula, Allied Justice Cataster, two Shinings, and a Chimera Tech. That is pretty much my Eternal Scout deck. And I am going to be doing segments by Emco Porties perfecting the gadgets. I just haven't thought of a name yet. Uh, I forgot some of the names that we thought of. Oh yeah. I don't remember the names that we thought of or whatever. I'm like tired of this one. I'm like happily laying down. So, uh, look out for that. I'm gonna probably update my deck a lot. Probably gonna have a whole bunch of more dueling videos up. And, um,. I need you guys to subscribe to Blazing Inferno 115. He has a matchup from Thursday last week of me playing um, Scraps. Made one player. Too many people talking around me. I made a player. Oh, well. So go check him out. Go also check out Levi Legend and Cyber Michael 77. Go check them out. Go tell him I sent you. Or whatever. And if anybody knows how to make custom playmat airbrush, I don't care. It must be done for a reason. If you have somebody that can make it, send them to me, please. Or send me the information I need to know. And, um, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. I am the HBIC, the eternal head bitch in charge. Bexicus 4666. Signing out. And I'll catch you bitches later. Later, bitches.